back to another episode of Off the Clock. I'm sitting here on a not so random couch with a pumpkin drink and my popcorn, which can only mean one thing. I'm back in Scheller's house, which also can only mean one thing. Um, because you only come over to Scheller's house for one reason, and that's to watch movies. Uh, to be totally honest, because look at this place. Makes sense. Anyway, we're gonna watch another Star Wars film. I was about to say the name of it, but I actually don't know which one it is. It's the next one. I gotta hear you guess. Attack of the Clones. Is that one? Is that something? What's that? Wrong second one. What? What? What is Attack of the... Isn't that a thing, though? Yeah, Attack of the Clones is the second one in the prequel trilogy. Okay, well, at least I knew. I was... I, at least it's the name of a movie. Um, this one is... What was the first one called? Star Empire Well, Back? okay. Still, mm-hmm. Is that it? Oh, Empire Strikes Back. Okay. <laughs> is the first one, like, the Rebellion... Well, no, the first one was actually just called Star Wars, but then, like, a couple years later, when, like, Lucas basically rebranded them so they would have episodes. Oh, yeah. And then he called it Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. So oh, the first right. One's a New Hope. I would have never even, that makes sense, I'll let it hear it, but okay. Empire Strikes Back. This is the one that I hear people talk about a lot. Empire Strikes Back, I obviously think of Star Wars. I don't know, I probably have seen clips from it, but I can't tell you anything that goes on in this film. In the slightest. It's the best one. 100%. That's what you have been saying. It was interesting. In the comments of the first Star Wars video we did, there were a lot of people that were going, no, it's not. Like, you don't shell her. You're wrong. But of course, he had some backup from other people who agree with him. So Yeah, those people were wrong that said otherwise. Okay, You're well, I, now I, as the Star Wars authority, I will give you an objective, clear, authoritative answer about whether I think this one is better. And then by the third movie, I'll be able to tell you which one of the three is best. Uh, And you can hear it from me, because obviously I'm right about everything. Um, But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the film. I'm very excited. Let's do it. All right. My coffee's ready. Cool. So not only is this my favorite Star Wars movie, Mm -hmm. this is probably one of my favorite movies. Probably in my top five favorite movies of all time. Okay. Well, I guess it makes sense that Vader is alive. But I don't know how. Well, I remember at the end of the the last one, Han Solo shot the the TIE Mm. fighter and then it blew Darth Vader out of orbit. And so he just kind of went off. He was already flying. Yes. What's that? That is a um, Star Destroyer. It was in the last one. Remember in the beginning of the movie when... Mm, oh, it's what she the, was on. It, well, the, it was chasing what she was on. Mm. There's a lot more of those in this one, though. Okay. Hey, girl. Hey, what's the matter? You smell something? Oh. I didn't know Rocky was in this movie. That's so mean. You know what that looks like? Um, Ro- Rocky. No. It does not look like my dog. Like if Rocky was 20 times bigger? You look like a wampa. It looks like the Matterhorn in Disney. It actually, kind of does. There you go. He is so much better looking than Luke Skywalker. So much, objectively. Well, he so also there, aged better. There was a reason for that scene that just happened with Luke and this monster. Mm-hmm. In between the original Star Wars and this one, Mark Hamill got into a really bad car accident and like half his face fell off. So, they, so he looks a little different, and they had to explain why he looks different, sort of. So they did that scene? Yes. Mm. That hair is so much better. Than the buns? Mm Mm-hmm. Not as iconic. No, it makes her look less round. Yeah. (laughs) Those graphics are so bad. Stop motion animation. Mm Mm-hmm. This is so good. I love this part. I love the music. I love everything. Uh, what are you doing? Like the swamp and Princess and the Frog. This is Dagobah. It's kind of a shithole. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Being held by you is quite enough to get me excited. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> it's toxic masculinity. Mm-hmm. Clearly, Princess Leia does not like it. I am wondering, why are you here? His head I'm looks like a grenade. Okay. <laughs> 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 my mom's favorite character. 
Yes. You like yes. I don't think so. <laughs> he would be a great asset. Can he Who's be that? Done? So that's the emperor, but in the next movie when you see him, he's completely different. Wow. Different actor, different voice. Mm. That was like an imaginary thing? Beth, you're very philosophical. This movie's heavy, man. There it is. Mama Cooper's words She's of wisdom. Stoked. He looks better here. He looks less like a soy boy and more like Indiana Jones. Which is, obviously. You can tell he kinda of hit the gym mm -hmm. a little bit, you know? Tried, yeah. Oh. Wow. looks so sleepy. I mean, look at that attempt. Mm -hmm. Put me to sleep too. Weak sauce. Soy you are. <laughs> Say beta cuck. Cuck that is. Yes. Beta cuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, what have we here? <laughs> Welcome, I'm Lando Calrissian. I'm the administrator of this facility. I'm sorry, am I interrupting anything? Mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. You truly belong here. <laughs> <laughs> we would be honored if you would join us. Holy shit! I love you. I know. <laughs> oh! Holy shit! Yeah. <gasps> oh! There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. No. I am your father. So good. That was great. That was better than the first one. One hundred percent. That was much better than the first one. Not that I didn't like the first one. Mm -hmm. This one just had more going for it from the get go. I think as we got past the like establishing mm -hmm. the world and the characters, it felt like you needed to know the backstory. But then this was kind of like the real deal. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. I did not hate Luke in this one. He actually had some good character development. That was impressive. Right. Leia dropped the weird accent, as you pointed out, and she just seemed normal. She also was, like, more of a supporting character in this one. Like, she was yeah. just kind of there. Yeah. Not really, but, like, it was it was more about Luke's development, I feel right. like. She was kind of like a MacGuffin in the first one. Like, they were looking for her. They're trying to find her. Yeah. And this was, she was kind of, like, helping him and being a catalyst for him and you know coming back and a catalyst for Han it was like she was there to like uplift the men in a way yeah that's not good that's misogynistic internalized misogyny. yeah that is like the internalized patriarchy in George Lucas's mind Empire Strikes Back is the most patriarchal film ever made <laughs> that's what you can say yes it's the patriarchy that's why it's my favorite movie <laughs> the the, fan, the music was fantastic so that's another reason why Scheller probably loves it the score sorry the score that's a great score um, the action scenes. Okay, when a movie is an action movie, I want lots of action. Mm -hmm. And we had it in this one. This from one the delivers. Beginning. Yes, yeah. constantly. All the time. I was... Okay, so I knew... I knew the Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker mm -hmm. thing. Not because I had seen it, but just from like memes and like the people would be like, Luke, I am your father. And I'd be like, what's that from? And they're like, Star Wars. And I'd be like, oh, okay. So I knew going into it. But still, that scene was wild. I was a little turned off by Luke's performance in the like. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not true. Well, I have to make my mouth. Do that's this. impossible. <laughs> yeah. That was like honestly, maybe I shouldn't say that I was disappointed because it was kind of impressive the way he contorted his face like that. <laughs> but that whole sequence of like going from like them fighting to like him going into the you know chamber or whatever, then shooting up, then going that that was very cool. Yeah, the fight's got like a three act structure within the fight. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I feel like he redeemed himself because everybody was thinking, oh, he can't do it. He, I mean, obviously like didn't do it, but he held his own. Mm -hmm. So that was impressive, and you like that. Um, I don't want to see Darth Vader's face. 
after seeing the little clip of his head. I want to know what happened, but I don't really want to see it. Okay. I feel like it's going to be like a weird Voldemort situation, and I feel like that could be very unfortunate for me to have to witness. They kept... I want to know why, and we sort of touched on this before we were talking about it. It feels like they were setting something up with Leia and Luke, like... They can communicate kind in that of, kind yeah. of thing. Well, like they, with the force, but she has not established that she. Like I don't know if he can do that with anybody else. Yeah, I mean, it's in this one, it's a little, a little hazy, but it's more like he's, he himself is just able to communicate using with, okay. the force. I wasn't sure if like they had some kind of weird special. Well, I mean, I don't want to say. I don't want to say. You got to see the next one. Okay. But, but that was interesting at the end. I was like, oh, because I thought he could only do that with, like, mm-hmm. Obi-Wan. Yeah. So that was interesting. Han Solo and Leia, I that's entertaining. That's a good relationship. It was good, huh? I enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah. Like, I the bantering, it was great. I'm a big fan of Chewbacca. I was very sad that CB3O, C, C-3PO? There you go. C-3PO yeah. and R2-D2 were not together for most of it. Yeah. I enjoy their bantering. Uh, and their relationship. So that was kind of sad. But all in all, this one was fantastic. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I want to know what happens next. That's good. So what do you think is going to happen next? I don't know, but I was on the edge of my seat when it ended. I was like, oh, I want it to keep going. <laughs> like I wanted to, I would be very upset if I watched this in real time and had to wait like another three years. Um, okay, so what happened? They, they're going to have to go find Han. Oh, wait. Okay, so we didn't get to meet Jabba the Hutt. Not yet. Okay, so then we'll meet him in the next one. That's the one that I think looks like a booger. And I've seen pictures of him. Because he does. He looks like he was shot out of somebody's nose. <laughs> I think maybe that that's the movie that I've seen because I don't understand any of this, but I remember there's a scene in like a an alien bar club and Jabba's was like a fat, gluttonous, like Harvey Weinstein-esque kind of man. No. Maybe that's what George Lucas was writing in base. Maybe he knew Harvey Possibly, Weinstein yeah. at the time. Weinstein, maybe. Weinstein. Yeah. Um, anyway, he kind of reminds me of that. So maybe I've seen that film. I don't really remember. I have no idea. Um, so we're going to see him because Han is like being delivered. Um, Luke now has a hand again. Darth is very upset that Luke is not there. And, oh, we're going to meet the Emperor, probably. So those, that's probably what we're gonna, they're going to do. They're going to fight the Emperor. So what do you think about the new characters in the movie? There were kind of a, a few new ones. Oh, it's Lando. Lando. Appreciated that. I felt like he was like a Michael Jackson-esque go-go 70s dancer. Mm-hmm. I liked the cape. The outfits were fun. I felt like in every time, like his motions... He was like, oh, like pizzazz. Every time that he moved, like, oh, I can get it. I don't know. He just gave me that vibe. Anyway, he's great. I think he has a lot of complexity because obviously in his, like, he was only in the film for like a quarter of it, basically. Yeah. But he was, you know, taken advantage of by Darth Vader, basically, Mm -hmm. and like gave into that and then was going along with it, realized it was wrong, and then suddenly was there to support them. I don't know if I fully trust him, but it was like a cool, very quick character arc. Then honestly, he's had more of an arc. If this is authentic, he's had more of an arc than most of the characters just in general, which yep. is kind of cool. Yeah. Short, has, short amount of time on screen, but leaves a big but impression. But yes, yeah. And like dr- basically like was the, I don't want to say like moving force, but like really propelled the ending of the yeah. film in a way. It wouldn't have been able to be like happen without him. Um, Yoda was cool. Um, that whole sequence that was very weird, and I was, I know it needs to happen, because I know that he becomes an important figure, obviously in, like, the franchise, he becomes Baby Yoda again, or we see whatever, so obviously (laughs) people care about him, so it's good to see him, uh, and yeah, my mom loves Yoda, she would say, do or do not, there is no try, all the time, like, I'm not kidding, when I was younger, if I would say, oh, I'm trying, she was like, do or do not, there is no try, like, she hates people, like, I'm trying, like, whiners, she does not, I, probably from Yoda. But I do think his head looks like the top of a grenade. That was my first impression. <laughs> He's funny, though. Yeah. He's very funny. But what I did not like was, and I know that it has to be this way for, like, establishing the narrative. I did not like how disconnected the two, like, plots were in that moment where he was there. And they were, you know, flying around, fixing the ship. I was just kind of like, get to it. Like, I want you to be back together and, like, fighting and that kind of thing. Yeah. But it made sense. So it was fine. It's, a, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings, which I know you haven't seen, but you have the first one, the Fellowship of the Ring. They're all together going on to an adventure, yep. and then they, they splinter off. And okay. so then the second one is very much like this, where they're all Setting separate, and they're doing their, their separate thing, yeah. and then they come back together. Which is like a very quintessential thing, even in literature, where yes. it's like the yeah. hero's journey and that sort mm-hmm. of thing. Like, you can't always do it together, so it makes sense. But in the like moment of watching it, I was like, okay, I'm tired of seeing you like lift boxes. 
yeah. and handstand, like we get it. Well, plus you you just like seeing all of them together in the first one. Yeah, and so it's you like just a want gang. Them, that's yeah. the gang. You want to bring the gang back together. Exactly. Um, you mentioned a couple of times like oh that we're getting really philosophical. I do think it'll be cool to see how Luke's relationship with Darth develops because I think that is a significant part of his like maturity. Mm-hmm. Not develops, but like how he handles that. Yeah. Um. Obviously, there were much more philosophical undertones of you know I don't know if philosophical is the right word, but of like. Patience and maturity. It kind of sure. felt like a bit of a coming of age kind of thing and mm-hmm. choosing light versus darkness, which are all like very quintessential like narrative tactics. Yeah, well, maybe not devices. nowadays, but yeah. And then imagine when they weren't using crazy gender ideology and actually created something interesting. Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, but I think Yoda will be interesting. Obviously, he becomes more important. Um, there were lots of new admirals, but they all got killed, so I don't really need to talk <laughs> about those. Yeah, Vader was just choking them all out. So. Yeah. That's basically it. Oh, and then the Emperor. I think we had been he had been referenced in the first film. Yeah, they mentioned him like once or twice. But that's but then you see his looming whatever. So I think that'll be interesting. Because I when he when Darth Vader comes back basically in this, I was kind of confused, obviously, of he like kind of was blew off in the end of the first film. And then the whole Death Star gets blown up. So in my mind, I was like, Darth's the only one left. And then you come to realize, oh my god, this is an entire thing. There's another emperor. So I kind of see, like, where's the emperor? Like, how do you blow up that, basically? Because I thought when you hit the Death Star, they're all gone. So I think that'll be interesting to see unfold. But I'm excited. Good. So Uh, you guys better like this video so that I can watch the third one. Because if not, I'm not going to watch it on my own time. Because I don't have a TV and I don't watch movies. So you have to watch it and comment so that I can... Well, no, we definitely have to watch Return of the Jedi. If I've made it this far. Yeah, I mean, you have to know how it ends. It's important. Obviously, yeah. Before you go, make sure that you like this video if you have not already. Subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a single comment section or off-the-clock episode. We are putting out new content every day, sometimes twice a day, and even on weekends now, and I don't want you to miss a thing.